Warning, this show contains strong language and topics that some viewers may find offensive. Listener discretion is advised. fans and welcome to another edition of the Supla. Hi, I'm Andy Quad, who's in Lincoln for some reason, and with me as always is Liam Dunn. I wrote an article on Supla.com. That is, I'm getting my plug in early. It's about how I think Immortals is probably one of the best WWE games released in recent memory. Go, read it. That's my plug. You're doing it early. It's just a game where you just tap, 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 tap. That's no, but I got, uh, look. In the article, I explain why it's actually better than any of the 2K games. Alright, I'll go read it. Exactly. And always with me as well. No, not... What? That... You... You... You're in a constant struggle against the English language, aren't you? I'm sorry, the guy who just went, you, you, you... I didn't say, as always, with me in... And also... And this is why the BBC said no. So there Just we go. in general, not about anything specific. They just, <laughs> just saw in you life. and said no. Just no in life. <laughs> it's not my fault, okay? I mean, maybe a little. <laughs> what did you do? Did you write random shit as you were talking? Were you just... It like, it said, uh, like- what, what is your name? And Andy just goes, spaffle cakes. Is that what I you did? <laughs> That's what I basically put. Like... <laughs> I didn't actually go to the BBC and they went, Hello, Andrew, I'm the BBC. I can just yeah, imagine the, the logo with up. eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Walk in and this, this giant sign is talking to him. <laughs> Hello, Hello I'm the BBC. Like, that's not how, that's not how that works. The BBC is I know that's it. not how it works. You know what? I think I, think I know why like the BBC is. actually said no, right? I don't actually think it's because of it his bad English. I think it's because they listen to the show and they hear him just go, Spaffle cakes, Barry! Yeah. And just... you, know, you know, I have a theory about this, because if you Google my fucking name, this comes up, and if you just <laughs> listen to it, any employer ever will look at that and go, what a fucking retard, and just never employ me. <laughs> this, is a, this thing's a curse. If this thing is never successful, I am fucked for the rest of my life. Has the well, I see he's got a 2-1 in history. Uh, he's, um, yeah. yeah, 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 he seems to be doing well. Oh, what's this? Supla. Let's, let's check that out. Hello, wrestling fans, and welcome. With me as always, but not really, it's me, Andy Quan. Spaff. <laughs> spaff. Spaff everywhere. Well, that guy's clearly a fucking retard. Let's not employ him. He clearly says spaff every five seconds, so uh, no. I, I'm trying to find a segue from this. It's not so, easy. So we, can't, we can't segue. We can't segue. <laughs> Well, you said find a segue, so I did. So Samoa Joe has gone from TNA. Is WWE interested? Samoa Joe sent out a tweet to following his departure from TNA in a nine-year run. After a nine-year run. After a nine-year run. He didn't do <laughs> nine years of tweeting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to read this off my phone, okay? After a nine-year run, the tweet stated the following. I decided to part ways with At Impact Wrestling, my very best... My very best to them moving forward, and my eternal thanks to fans. According to the verified WWE Insider, Mets fan forever on Reddit, WWE is showing an interest in an NXT run from Samoa Joe, as Triple H is keen on the idea, however Vince seems to be disinterested. Paul Heyman is also keen on seeing Joe in WWE, as he sent a tweet out on Tuesday night, which was clearly designed to hint at the Samoa and be the next Paul Heyman guy. Paul Heyman is a long-time fan of Samoa Joe. So, I mean... We all know Samoa. Oh my god, guys! What's Samoa Joseph doing in the next team? That was the best. Uh, So we all know Samoa Joe's really good. And putting him in the NXT environment might be really good for him. Yeah. But if Vince is disinterested, 
specifically yep. that choice of words. I mean, if you remember the last summer when that was in the, uh, or precisely from the Usos, uh, before the Usos then, was Umaga. And the rumor was Umaga. that Joe was going to WWE and he was going to be basically Umaga, which would have been fucking horrible because that gimmick is probably the worst thing ever because it's like borderline racist. The thing it's is, guys, like, guys, we're, we're missing a vital, vital bit of topic here, and that's would Samoa Joe go to WWE? Yeah, that's another thing. I don't know. I mean, there's always doors open in Ring of Honor, New Japan. Like, he could go wherever he wants, so... Yeah. I... I think he would be more welcome in Ring of Honor because Ring of Honor, as much as they're not doing too bad right now, I think they need, like, more names. So they got, like, AJ Styles and all the other Ring of Honor guys and all the New Japan guys. If you add Joe into the mix, that could be quite good. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're, Ring of Honor is building a, a very good roster, and adding Joe would definitely help. And Joe, Joe's an original Ring of Honor guy, so it would make sense. Yeah, but it's like Styles. I, I'm only... I'm, I, the only other place I'd want to see him is either in Japan or NXT. But the problem with NXT is he might get a really shit gimmick and then he'll turn out to be a gay hairdresser and then we'll fight with him, aren't we? That... Yeah, but I, to be fair, everyone thought that about Kevin Owens. Right. And look that at what true. he became. That is a very good point. I but think the question, maybe... the thing is that I wonder is that Samoa Joe is not your average sort of quote-unquote big man. No. He, he, to me, I'm, I preferred him most during the X division run when it was not the weight division, sort of like a knockoff cruiserweight thing. I actually preferred yeah. him in that because he was a big guy, but he could do a lot of high-flying moves. But the, the thing is, though, is that the WWE, yeah, NXT, is a, to me, is a completely different thing, right? Because if, he, if he's successful there, he'll get called up to the main roster. Would they let him be able to be that sort of performer in the WWE? I don't think he can be that sort of performer anymore because Joe, he's getting older now and I think he's put on a bit of weight and shit. So it's like, I don't think he can do that. He can do some high flying, but he can't do all the stuff that he did like back in the day or anything. So if anything, his style right now would probably be best suited for WWE or NXT because it's like he can't do like that weird corkscrew flip thing anymore, really. He can only dive through like the second row and I'm not knocking him. But it might it may be it might be something that actually ends up being for the best for the guy. And and, and guys like Kevin Owens and Finn Balor and the guy that I pronounced wrong, Kenta, right? Hideo Itami. Itami, right. They can eventually learn the style. So, you know, it's not impossible. So, I don't know. Joe might be better suited in NXT than what I think about it. If you're saying NXT, I'm talking WWE. Yeah, now that's another thing I was going to bring up, is NXT. that they mention <clears throat> an NXT run. That doesn't, I don't, like, they say that as if it's a separate thing from going to the main roster. As if, like, like main roster might not even happen for him, you know what I mean? If you're in NXT right now, you don't want to go on the main roster. <laughs> the, here's the, the thing shit. about that. I, the Ascension, I, damn it, they AIDS. They're just... No, Luminai, not... AIDS, war paint, face paint, shit. Your ability to exaggerate things is impeccable. They're bad. They're not that bad. Listen, hold oh. on. Let me make a point. Okay. <laughs> the problem with NXT stars moving up to the main roster is that it's a slow <laughs> drip. You get one at a time every, like, six months. If there was just a sudden purge... And, like, five, six guys went up to the main roster. That's what the Rumble should have been. And you have this surge of new talent in the main roster with direction. That's what will make it all work. You can keep the slow drip formula for a while, but just keep in mind things aren't going to immediately change. The tag division's not going to immediately become great because the Ascension's there. you got to wait until a few more teams get there. But it problem. doesn't. It, do, it doesn't help that Vince fucks around with the the gimmicks because he doesn't. He hasn't like. He doesn't even pay attention to his own developmental fucking products. So it's like. Yeah, I don't no, know. No, he doesn't. Triple H's thing. 
the mate, whole like, NXT, that's Triple H's thing. That's why Vince mm-hmm. doesn't pay attention to it. Yeah, exactly. Like, he's just like, Hunter that's, just... That's, that's, what, the that's, the pro- that's the problem. It's like, even, let's say, I don't know, Samoa Joseph gets called up. And Samoa Joseph, he'll be like, oh, he's Samoan, give him face paint. That, that's literally what he's going to say. He's going to say, the Usos have face paint, Umaga had face paint, The Rock didn't have face paint, but that's because... And Roman Reigns doesn't have face paint. What's this? What, I don't understand your, your theory here. I and think the is, problem with The Rock and Roman as Joe... examples are that they're not pure Samoan, right? Yeah, that's the thing. Rock is like half Samoan. And I think Roman is too. Yeah, so like if you're fully Samoan... Vince in Vince's head, he had like the Samoan. What was it? The Samoan head crushes or something? I have no idea where that noise is coming from. The Samoan head crushes, right? So like, more fucking face paint, and it's just like, I don't like where this is going. Because soon as he'll be great in NXT. If anything, NXT needs to be its own separate thing at this point because it. But it. it <sighs> I know what you're saying, but NXT right now. <clears throat> for the most part, for fans like us, is considered uh, the flagship show of WWE right now. Like that is the thing everyone's watching. That's kind of the that's kind of a problem at the same time because it's like that's your developmental. That's not your main thing. That can't be good. I mean that that's <clears throat> that's basically a, a fuck you to WWE. But this is also by Joe leaving a huge fuck you to TNA because I think we haven't really discussed this and this is like the biggest issue this is like AJ leaving this is exactly up there like this is a huge fucking blow to the company like Joe's been there for nine years sorry sorry to interrupt but at the same time what were they doing with him I think they were trying to push him they fucked him around though This this is the weird thing it's He's exactly like AJ Styles because they fucked around with AJ being like, what was he, the Prince of Phenomenal, the Kang's husband yeah. or something? And he was being a, like, oh boy, I'm AJ Styles, I'm Ric Flair. Woo! Right, let's look at all the stupid shit that they did with Joe. They stuck face paint on him. Oh god, TNA did that. Um, well, he had a knife, didn't he, at one point? And then he was just like, uh, just shit and just there, not really doing anything. And it teamed with Magnus randomly. He, yeah, he with Magnus for no reason. He was part of the main event mafia, weren't he? Or wanted to be in it or something? I think he was, right? You know what I mean? Like, he was the one-man nation of violence. Do you remember that? <laughs> yeah. And he had Taz as a manager. Fucking hell. Jesus Christ. It's like, they don't know how to do anything right. And they just lost. They've just lost probably the last guy that they have actually built up. And I don't understand the logic in that. Because if you want to put, like, EC3 over and... Mandrews, whoever the fuck he is. What if the you fuck put, is a Mandrews? Exactly, it's a disease. But if you if you want to like push these people, you need these old fuckers, not old fuckers, but these these established names to put them over. Like, I don't understand how Joe's still in the co- uh, no longer in the company, and a guy that is basically falling apart in Kurt Angle is still there, and a guy that's had a history of drugs is still there. Uh, Meth Hardy, right? I don't get. I don't get why you let this idiot go. And I don't understand. Like, it's financial reasons, apparently. They can't afford it. They can't afford him. What? This thing is owned by an energy company. An energy company, right? You've been losing money for, like, 11 years. Why stop now? I mean, it's not like you you haven't got a constant, like, flow of ink. Stupid fucking idiots. They're they're killing killing themselves. There is one thing that I wanted to just quickly mention, and we've kind kind of missed this bit. But apparently, Samoa Joe is actually close friends, or was close friends, I'm not sure so much anymore, with the golden boy himself, John Cena. Oh. Apparently they went through the ranks together, like they, they went to the same uh, wrestling school or something. I'm not 100% the sure. The one. Yeah, maybe, I don't know, I'm not 100% sure. But with somebody like John Cena, if he was behind you know, WWE saying, look, You've got to get this guy. That surely would would help him and it, 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 it would elevate him a little bit. Yeah, in, in and the eyes if, of management. if he's got Cena backing him, maybe Vince wouldn't fuck with him too much. Mm. So maybe I, there is a chance for Joe in WWE. 
I mean, but, mm. this is a huge loss for TNA. It's just like... Oh, yeah, but yeah. at the same time, like, I can't give two shits if TNA loses anything anymore. Like, I don't care. I'm waiting for them to just bleed out. I've, I've, I've got to be honest. I will be honest with you. I've, I've, uh, I've checked out or tried to check out TNA. I've... As some of you may know, you know I, I did I did boycott TNA for a long time, but I thought, you know, I'm going to put it on in the background. And fuck me, it's dire. <laughs> uh, oh, my God. Oh God. What is this? The- okay, so Eric Young went from being in Team Canada to oh, no, this don't. Showtime ter- ter- Eric oh, Young, no right, to then being Knockout's Tag Team Champion, then to being a knockoff Daniel Bryan, and now he's some sort of what is he like a badass in some sort of stable or something? What? Something like he's, he's a heel now, clan. isn't he? He's Wait, in the beatdown another... clan. There's another that's stable. Beatdown clan. That's what it's called. Fucking beatdown clan. You might call this. This whole thing must be called the beat off club because it's just like what? you're just wanking away your entire company, just spaffing everywhere, and it's just like what the, the fuck? Beatdown clan might as well be called the beat 'em up group. It, it may as well be. Do you not know this, Carmine? I've not heard of this stable. Fucking shit. What a like. It's basically Kenny King, MVP. I don't know if Lashley's still in it. I probably just spoiled about six months of storylines. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Eric Young's in it for some reason. Samoa Joe was supposedly in it, and they just get rid of him. How the fuck are they going to explain that? I don't know. Uh, Eric Young ate him because he's such a badass. I must go now. My home planet needs me. (laughs) I must go now. (laughs) Poochie died on his way. So they took Black Evolution, put Eric Young and Samoa Joe in it, took Samoa Joe out of it. Yeah, that's pretty much where we are. And the thing is, the other thing is, like, the the, the, the crowds are just, it's pitiful. You can tell they're hiding the fact that no no one's there. there. Because, you, you, you know why? You know what you can tell? Because there's no lighting on him at all. That's what I mean. You can tell no one's there. One guy, Derek, is just sat in the crowd going, I love P&A. And he's like, oh, God, it's Derek. We're going to have to turn off all the lights. Quick, turn off all the lights. What the fuck? You literally, you watch an episode and you just hear one guy go, that's it. Like Or boo. No, not even that. You just hear one guy, literally, it's just in the back, really quiet. You just hear one guy go, <laughs> Fuck off! It's, well, like, and a tumble just goes by. <laughs> that it's a was fucking awesome. crazy Steve and that Spud was match. Awesome. No, really, what they do is they pad out the crowd with a bunch of tumbleweeds in human clothing <laughs> to look like people. <laughs> Dixie, our uh, our crowds are just really like, like really like, scarce. We we need to do something. We need to do something. Ah, get some tumbleweed. Don't know why she speaks like that. Put dogs in now. a sweater and put it in a seat. Ah, from Texas. Pew 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 pew. <laughs> Fucking shut up, Facebook. Where is that coming from? Anyway, the point Jesus. is. I think he's got Tourette's. Is, I really do. I don't have Tourette's. God damn it. Fuck. But the thing is, as well, is that it kind of embarrasses oh, themselves because you can tell no one's in their American audience. And then when they go to Glasgow, all they do is they just take pictures of all the crowd. Look, like, look how big this is. Look, look, look how amazing. The reason right. I've said this several times the reason why TNA is bigger over here than WWE is because they're on free TV. Right. That's the only reason. And they're even. And the channel they're on is called Channel TV. Right? No, not channel. Challenge. I'm not. I'm not that up. Let's just fucking keep going, right? So <laughs> Challenge TV. That channel was created specifically for game shows. Wow. And you know what? It kind of works because it's a fucking challenge. Watching it, <laughs> I feel like I should earn some money after watching it. It's like the ice bucket challenge. Like if 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 you can sit through an entire episode of TNA, you don't have to donate the money. No, that's what it should. It should be the TNA watching challenge. <laughs> Just watch to it. To raise challenge. awareness for wrestlers who are still on food stamps. Jesus Christ. Watch an episode but... of TNA. If you get through the whole fucking two hours, you don't have to donate five dollars. There you go. <laughs> We're doing it. The TNA watching challenge. That'll raise the most money of any challenge donation ever. 
Can you imagine the videos? It would it. just be it would just be videos. Can like just so hello, my name is Liam Dunn and I've been nominated for the TNA Watching Challenge. I now nominate Carmine Antonelli, Andy Kwan, and Keelan Balderson. And then it's just literally a collection of just horrible reactions. <laughs> like as like, soon as it starts, you just go, oh, fuck. Like literally just you know the reaction videos on YouTube of people from Two Girls One Cup, right? Right. It's that, but to TNA. <laughs> In fact, I've just given myself a reactions video. <laughs> it's just, you take one of the Two Girls One Cup reactions, and then you just put TNA footage in, in there instead, and it's yeah. the same thing. That's it. <laughs> That's all it is. But uh, Andy seems to have vanished. I thought he was being quiet. So we will take this time to segue away from Samoa Joe and TNA because that's taking up a lot of time. That is taking up a lot of time. in the same vein of leaving a company or not, Brock Lesnar may not be leaving WWE after WrestleMania to go to UFC. Oh, I've not heard this. uh, Who knows? Uh, But in a new report from Jim Ross's blog, sources are saying that Lesnar isn't going anywhere different after WrestleMania, mostly due to concerns over long-term health effects of competing in MMA, specifically concussion-oriented issues. If this is the case and sources are correct, then it makes the WrestleMania main event finish way less obvious. Lesnar is in a good spot with Bellator, UFC, and WWE bidding for his services, uh, so perhaps concussions are not an issue for him now that but he may not want to deal with potential issues that arise if he does return to the octagon. So maybe he's sticking around. Well, this is the thing. Like we've got to, the one thing that I, uh, I think people seem to overlook is Brock's age. Now Brock was what? 25 when he won the WWE title in 2002. <laughs> yeah. Hey, guess who's back? He's back. Yeah. I died so, on my way back to my home planet. I'm a ghost. There you go. <laughs> no. Can so I explain what was, happened? It's hilarious. Sure. Basically, if you turn on a hob in this house, it trips the whole electric and the power now. <laughs> <laughs> right, but we talk about Brock then. Okay. So Go. he was 25 in 2002. That means that he must be about 37, th- coming up to 38. Just about. I'll look up his official age right now, but yeah. For an MMA fighter, that is quite old. Yeah, I really don't see him going back to UFC. No, I mean, Anderson Silva's 39, and the only way he could come... Okay, yeah, he did break his leg, <laughs> but the only way he could come back is if he was on PEDs. And, like, and also, the other, thing, huge... the, the, the other thing is that him... He, as much as people might want to think that this is possible, I don't think it's as easy to go from WWE straight back into UFC. No. Don't forget, these guys prepare for fights for months. Right, mm-hmm. absolute. And months. it's a constant thing. <laughs> it's a constant. He's... That's why Anderson Silva, even though he's thirty-nine, would probably still be able to keep going because it's a constant. That's what he's trained for. That's what his body is used to. Right. And I'm not saying Brock Lesnar has probably just been sat on the sofa masturbating into a sock over Sable. I'm not saying that. But he's married to Sable. Why didn't? Why, why would he... wouldn't you just fuck Sable? <laughs> Have Why you is seen he Sable? Right? I can't picture this. Okay, so he's, if this he's was the sat there just that whacking would be the title. off, right? He's just whacking off into a sock, and his actual wife, like about his actual wife, who is sat right there in front of him, completely naked. <laughs> Why the fuck would he? Be it's probably a, a picture of a younger Sable. He's anyway. married to Sable. Yeah, but her tits are probably all sort of droopy now. So he's thirty-seven years old. Okay, he's 37. Can't. He probably but The can't. problem is as well, like, I think it wasn't last year, but the year before, like, it was a huge, like, TRT is, it's testosterone replacement therapy, right? And it was actually legal, and basically a load of people were on it over the age of, like, 35, and, like, all the 20-year-olds were like, well, this is fucking bullshit. You're, you're like, 30, you're in your late 30s. You shouldn't be as agile as a guy in his early 20s. And... That's no longer a thing. That's banned. So if Brock was to come back, he would have to do that, like, based upon his own health and his own physical characteristics, rather than, like, I can just, I can just do a load of drugs. I'm Why did you give him a Jim Ross voice? I, I believe that this is how Brock Lesnar actually speaks. Have you heard him speak? Yes. It sounds he nothing like that. I know. So. He sounds like he's from Minnesota. 
No, Hello, he doesn't. I'm Brooklyn's door. What is that? <laughs> what the hell was that? Hello, I'm Brooklyn's <laughs> Why do you think he's got Paul Heyman as a mouthpiece? Hello, I'm Mr. Hello, Lightwalk. my name is Mr. Lesnar. I believe you have a letter for me. Okay, Mr. Lesnar, uh, what's your first name? Andy, I don't did... know. Andy, why did you make Brock Lesnar sound like Mary Poppins? <laughs> Heard him speak. Yeah, it's weird. All the, like the big, huge guys, like Bobby Lashley and Brock Lesnar, sound nothing like what they look. It's like, I eat like, I'm fucking Brock Lesnar. That's what you should sound like. He's like, hello, I'm Brock Lesnar. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> like. <laughs> what the hell is he talking about? I don't know. I just, I just need beer. Andy, are you? Is your brain cells dying? Are you having an aneurysm right now? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's just melting in front of us. <laughs> And on his way out, he's talking about Lesnar's voice. I just smelt some, like, Captain Morgans, and I'm like, oh, what? fuck, I'm drunk. Doctor, what was, his, what was his last words? Uh, Brock Lesnar has a fucking weird voice. That's what his last words were. <laughs> 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 so, anyway. As I was trying uh, to say, we, yeah. the other thing as well <laughs> is that he probably has a, a bit of an easier life with WWE, and with him turning 38, which is quite a late age in this sort of industry... That's not exactly bad. He wrestles, what, four, five times a year? The amount of money he's on, he's definitely one of the highest paid wrestlers in the company. Yeah. And four or five times a year is as the WWE champion. Yeah. I mean, he's, he he's top less billing than that right when now. He's not... I, don't mind, I don't mind seeing Brock in WWE. I just don't like him as the champ because he, he only, like... No, 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 I agree. No, I completely agree. But I'm saying you've got to look at it from his perspective. What he's, oh, yeah, he's being offered. Oh, he's making a shit ton of money for doing fuck all. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, it, I mean, I, I, fuck me. I mean, Vince, hire me. Just pay me to sit here on my ass and be like, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Great, I'll just keep taking the checks. I don't give a shit. <laughs> and then just show up every couple of months and just go, hello, Barry, and then just walk away. Hello, hello, Vince. Fuck off, damn it. Okay, are you paying me for this? <laughs> yep, all right, bye. Like, <laughs> like some God. weird fetish thing that Vince has where he likes being yelled at by little people. You know what? I'm your man, Vince. I'm going to yell at you for five hours. You pay me, I go. The end. And then you can just is, go work Hang on, out. wait. Is Andy just solicitor, like, putting himself out for prostitution now? No, kinda, no, 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 kinda. no, 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 no. I'm not doing anything sexual, you fucking <laughs> sick freak. No, because we said fetish. Liam, 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 Liam. He's got some class, all right? He's not a prostitute. He's an escort. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. Escort. Sorry. I'm not an escort. I wouldn't have the streak if I was an escort, you fucking clown. <laughs> <laughs> did you just call me a clown? I think I did. I'm so sorry. <laughs> that's, how, that's how angry and personal I'm getting about this fucking streak. <laughs> it's like I'm getting actually this physically fucking angry about it. Oh, my God. Um. Anyway. <laughs> Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar. So yeah. that's my opinion. I think, Brock I think Edward Lesnar. I think he's is that his name. Is yeah, that his middle name's name? Edward. What? What? That's completely not. That, that's a lie. No, like, I'm serious. Brock I found Lesnar. that out. I Brock found that out when Edward I looked up his age. Lesnar. What? Edward. That's not his name. It is. <laughs> What's his kids' names called? Because they got like funny, not funny names. That sounds bad. Twats. Um. Twat one and twat two. <laughs> twat one twat Lesnar. Lesnar. Twat two Lesnar. <laughs> twat Lesnar. <laughs> <laughs> I like pissing myself over Twat Lesnar. <laughs> so uh, this is this is Brock Lesnar an and his wife gimmick. Sable, and then their lovely child Twat Lesnar. That would make for an interesting gimmick. <laughs> <laughs> Speak oh that's it, actually, in fact, that's Barry's <laughs> original name. He changed it when he worked for WWE. <laughs> Are you saying Barry's related to Brock Lesnar? I'm saying yeah. Barry is actually Brock Lesnar's child, originally christened Twat Lesnar. Yeah, Twat Lesnar. <laughs> and now, making his way in the ring, the, the son of WWE Hall of Famer Brock Lesnar. Please welcome Twat Lesnar. <laughs> I am a fucking twat. <laughs> <laughs> you get the point other than being a gay hairdresser that's like the worst gimmick ever 
<laughs> I'm being a twat. Yeah, you know I mean, <laughs> oh, man, segue funny. for the love of God. <laughs> Someone take away. I haven't got the news anymore. I just I? did the game. Lucha Dragons are up on the main roster, and Kalisto is not a gay hairdresser. Rumors oh, dispelled. Thank God. Lucha. So. Luke well, they're not right. really up on oh, the main yeah, roster, but they, they had a match on main event against Heath Slater and Curtis Axel, and they're normal people. So I actually think that the the gay hairdresser gimmick was true, and then it got out, and the fan reaction was so bad that they were like, <laughs> "Yeah, no, probably just just say what didn't happen. Just say it was a rumor. <laughs> just say Barry said it out of context. It wasn't. <laughs> Barry, actually we were Barry testing Barry, Barry out for creative. That's the best he could come up with. <laughs> Barry, Barry." Barry, come here, mate. Uh, what? What is he? No, 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 is he a squid? That wasn't just like a normal speech impediment. That was like his mouth was quivering. What's the giant fucking thing from Star Wars? That's like there's many giant fucking things from Star Wars. The giant thing. It looks like a turd. What's its job of the heart? That's it. No, that sounded like Octo Dad. What the fuck is Octo Dad? It's a fucking squid in a human suit. <laughs> Hello, I'm Brock Lesnar. Oh, right. <laughs> this has descended into anarchy. It, it has. <laughs> so, I'm glad the Lucha Dragons are going, like, on the main roster, because the Lucha Dragons are actually good, and they desperately, desperately, desperately need more tag team. Here's my one criticism about the Lucha Dragons. They would be way better if uh, they didn't exist, and it was just Kalisto. Oh, God, yeah. I mean, Sin Cara, like, I think you said it in, the, in, in mm. our private thing. Sin Cara, like, when he's doing the weird, excellent pose for some reason, when he's, like, coming into the ring. Why does he do that, by the way? They both do a pose, it's weird. Yeah, but the, the, fucking, the, the, wait, <clears throat> Kalisto does this, like, um, I'm a luchador thing, and then, like, the fucking other one is like, excellent. I'm like, what <laughs> the fuck? Why is he Monty Burns? Why? why Not even that. Him? Like, when they do the lucha arm movements, like, he's, like, so haphazardly doing it. He's like, eh, eh, lucha, fuck it. He's so yeah. low energy. He's just, he doesn't care. I don't, he's like, oh, I was on the main roster, and it's like, oh, I'm here. What Every match he has... It feels like he just ran three miles before his match started. He always seems tired. Kalisto, you know what I'm going to do? What? I'm going to run around the fucking arena 500 times before our match. Why? Fuck it. Like, why? Why are you doing that? Stop. Do this stop. every time. Oh, you Sin fell Cara. over? Oh, great. Brilliant. Get yeah. it? He botches oh. running. <laughs> he just falls on his face. <laughs> he botches life. I'm going to run around this arena. Face pop, face fucking face drop it. I'm gonna eat a slice of toast. <laughs> like he still has his mask face. on. Yeah, he just smacks it in his own face. <laughs> like he just goes, I'm gonna eat a bit. You know what? I'm gonna drink this fucking water. Oh, I spilled it down myself. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, thank God there's no gay hairdresser because that would be a terrible gimmick. Yeah, I'm glad. What's the next piece of news, Garwine? Another gimmick thing, maybe, because WWE might be planning a redneck stable. Is that a joke? Sorry, are you joking? No, because WWE recently registered a trademark for, quote, Redneck Reppin' Company, which could be the name of a new stable. Uh, <laughs> what? Now, off to the side, they also registered to trademark a logo of a left hand with the index finger raised for clothing purposes. That mm, probably is just Daniel Bryan stuff. Or it could be their new set. Anyway, continue. Uh, great. I'm glad you I, interrupted I, the news for nothing. I was, was going to make a joke about a toy, but I thought, no, we're going to keep this PG, kind of. Now, no. there are zero stables in WWE right now, unless you count the authority. So... I'd be down for a stable. I just don't know if a redneck stable is the best way to go. Yeah, the redneck idea is redneck is not a nice. Like, I don't think it should be a term that should be used in 2015. Am oh, I? Oh, dude, like rednecks call themselves rednecks. Like, it's all not right, a fine, okay, whatever. But like, I just this is something that Vince would have come up with like 20 years ago and thought, "Bah, gold. <laughs> this is funny, damn it." Well. And, like, he, legitimately think it's funny and it's like no this this isn't funny please stop the thing about a redneck stable is i think it might be nxt related 
because there are people in NXT who kind of have that gimmick already. Uh, Scott Dawson and I forgot his partner's name yeah. were kind of a redneck tag team already, so they might just be adding to them. And... So they just Lance Cade and Trevor Murdoch. Kinda, yeah. <laughs> uh... They, I think specifically they were mechanics, but it was clear they were also rednecks. So I, that might be related to them. I don't think they're going to take people on the main roster and like. Like they did with the New Day and just turn them into rednecks. Well, it sounds a lot better than the Vaud villains, so... No, fuck, the Vaud villains are so good. No, they're not. No, how are they bad? Explain to me how they're bad. Right. I watched this with my... With my uh, like, I'm in Lincoln, so we watched, we watched our evolution. And the fucking, like, the, the, when they come out, it's like, Everybody gather around! Like, oh, like a vaudeville show? Okay. Fucking stupid. And then, and then, then it goes in this black and white NWO thing. Like, like a like, vaudeville so, show? No, because it goes, it, it's glitchy as hell. And it's That like, one time it was very, the frames, the frame rate oh was like fucked God, up, but they have fixed it since then. I just don't like it, it's too gimmicky for me. Sorry. So you don't like gimmicks, is my thing. Yep. That I'm picking up from you. All right. I prefer, I prefer just straight up people. Like, just like... I don't know, like a Finn Balor is Finn Balor. That's his gimmick. Oh, no. He's got... Never mind. I can't. Well, yes. Well, okay, on occasion, he likes to wear face paint. There we go. Fuck it. There we go. That's his gimmick. That's... Yeah, sure. Um, I'd That's recommend you just watch something. PWG in New Japan, then. Like, uh, exclusively. <laughs> because gimmicks are everywhere in wrestling. Gimmick. Like, The Undertaker's just fucking ridiculous in 2015. Oh, yeah, like... Stupid, like, but something like John Cena. I mean, it makes some sense. Something like doesn't a thirty-something-year-old dude wearing ten-year-old's clothing? No, I meant. Shut up. <laughs> I, that's not a good. That wasn't a good. A good example. I don't know someone like Orton, Brian. Yeah, like a Daniel Bryan is just that Daniel Bryan. That's his thing, right? So that's what I prefer over zombie walking man Kane with fire coming out. Like, it doesn't make sense. And, oh, God, the Wyatt thing. No, please. Oh, I was trying to avoid Oh, he could just teleport by saying the word derp. He okay. doesn't teleport. He does. That's Fun fact. He goes derp and he appears in the ring. No, he doesn't, actually. When, when Wyatt and take a feud at Mania, it's going to be bong, derp, bong, derp, Fun, bong, fun derp. fact, Andy. Bray Wyatt has never once just appeared in the ring. He never. He's, yes, he has. I swear no, he hasn't. I swear he has. No. Bong derp, bong derp, bong derp. That's gonna be the whole feud. Um, great feud, guys. Fucking fantastic. I just love Bray Wyatt. You sound angry. You know who does, else? You know who else does, sounded angry? He doesn't sound. Come on, by the sounds of it. Yeah, I'm yeah. Trying to get away from Andy ranting about the Wyatts, but you know who else sounded angry recently? Sounded angry, Carmine. Cesaro. <laughs> oh, yeah. now let's talk about this. So, unless he's looking to get himself fired, the belief is that Cesaro's Twitter account was hacked in some way. Uh, this news says this morning, but this happened a couple days ago. Because it went on a tirade about him not being pushed and wishing Vince McMahon got cancer. The tweets have since been deleted, but here are I some of them. I drunk Dr. Pepper at the wrong fucking time. <laughs> So, here's, here's a few of the tweets. Okay, go! This company is a piece of shit. That's one. <laughs> wow, that's pretty, pretty down, down and... I've point pretty much had it with WWE. That's one. Here's one. That's... Why did they give me this gimmick and this awful theme music? They're constantly burying me. I feel like that's a legitimate gripe. I hope that old man gets cancer. I would have been one of the best for sure in the WWE, but that old washed-up has-been has no idea. Bit extreme, mate. <laughs> I think he was hacked. Yeah. yeah, I think what it is, is that it wasn't the Kurt Angle hacked, right? <laughs> oh, it's hacked, guys. I wasn't pissed or on pills. <laughs> I was hacked, guys. I clearly wasn't an alcoholic drinking. No, right. I think it genuinely he was hacked and it was a fan of his who has been because let's be honest we've all been outspoken at the way they've treated Cesaro but yeah. 
I don't. I you know. I think Cesaro, in all honesty, if he had an issue, I don't think he'd stick around for too much longer. No. So, he seems like that sort of person. I think he's. He's. I wouldn't say he's happy, but he seems content with where he is. Also, the thing. The, of the other thing. Sorry, constantly to burying me. Bit. Sorry to step on your toes, but the other thing is, there's been no reports backstage. Usually, things start to leak out when people have been. Uh, sort of um, upset backstage. I mean, even Justin Gabriel, even though it was a couple of days later, we found out he that left. obviously he, he, yeah, he left Raw that week uh, before the Raw Rumble and he was going to quit then. We found things out like that. This just came way too out of the blue. And it's... I mean, I'm not a smart person, but you don't really yeah, right. say you want your employer to get cancer. No. Yeah, I, I, I think that's probably the dumbest. Not thing even to say. CM Punk I, said that. That no, CM Punk was like he's a washed up has been. Not I hope he dies of a horrific disease. You are a fucking stupid cunt. I may have probably <laughs> put words in his mouth, but I, I think it's a hack clearly. But yeah i mean he I, does like, hate his theme song though he said like oh, yeah. turn that theme song off it's a piece of shit <laughs> I'm fucking stupid okay yeah thanks it's... cf dollar sign f whatever you guys are Kafas. <laughs> who but is that it... how you pronounce that piece of shit i don't know just the dollar sign twice it's like He's... wrestlemania play sign <laughs> but uh, the thing that gives it away for me is the that's the, the they're constantly burying me. That sounds like an angry fan because That's if you really look at it, he's not being buried and he wouldn't say he is. He's getting no. a tag team championship match this Sunday. Yeah, That's that doesn't sound like buried. burying to me. That, that, that sounds like an angry fan who's looking at all the negatives. It's, it's just a clear Cesaro, Mark, who has thought that this would somehow... Help him. I'm not entirely. Maybe this fan's theory is that if he gets him fired from WWE, he can go back to the Indies and be amazing there. But and maybe you can tag with Hero again and become the Ring of Honor tag team champions. The thing oh, yeah, is, the if you're a fan, guy and <laughs> the thing off. is, if you're a fan, surely you want to see them get to the top of the major industry, which is WWE, not hinder their career just so they can go. Oh, I want them to be Ring of Honor champions. Oh, I preferred it when they were the kings of wrestling, guys. I just love playing EWR. It always well, you can't do an EWR, you fuck. But yeah, I don't, I don't see Cesaro getting in trouble for this because I think it's obvious to anyone who really looks at these tweets that they're not his words. This, this you, <clears> way the thing is, you say that. and I, I mean, I know Andy and Sam spoke about it last week, but kind of segueing into a very old bit of news, but Cesaro is not getting... Uh, punished for this, but yet Seth Rollins, he's getting punished for his hack. No, he didn't. Did he no. not get punished? I heard no, there was rumors. He was word is, punished. he's getting out of this completely unharmed because that wasn't his fault either. And that's no. the thing as well. These two, these two things happened so quickly after each other. It's so obvious it was a hack because it's like Seth Rollins's knob is now on the internet. <laughs> and, Very eloquently and, put. All these dickers, all these dickers, all over the internet now. What do you want me to? His dick is flopping around on the web. It's It's flopping around everywhere. Really, the lesson we've learned here is that if you do CrossFit, your Twitter's going to get hacked and you're going to get in trouble. Yeah, don't do CrossFit. There we go. Don't CrossFit's evil. Okay, if you're going to do CrossFit, one, don't don't get your dick out, and two, get a better password. You dumb fuck. Not, 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 I love to big swing people, one, two, three, four, five, okay? That doesn't work. And not but Cesaro's now like, right fuck, they know it. Right round, which is not Cesaro's theme, it's the fucking, it's Seth Rollins's, it's Seth Rollins's password, because meetspin.com, fuck it, I don't know, fuck the joke. Oh, anyway. God. So, the last thing we have to talk about here is Fastlane. Yeah, the the final that. match cards come out, so... Hey! We're going to go through all the matches and see what we think is going to happen. No, come on. I've lost the news. Well, one of the bigger matches, which is weird, is Rusev versus Cena for the United States title. Da, 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 da. I don't. No, 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 no. Please. Like, I just need. Da, 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 da. 
I need Rusev to walk out as champion. I need fun that. fact. Fun fact: the U.S. title was actually seen as very first championship in the WWE. Now, yeah, hopefully, he never has it again. Because if he beats Rusev, Andy, please, for the love of God, if he beats Rusev and becomes the new United States champion in 2015, John Cena is United States champion. Just picture that for a second. It's better than the world title. <laughs> like. Rusev will be fucked forever. Oh yeah, no. I mean, this is this is no. This is Rusev's only purpose. Rusev's only purpose, purpose. Like I can fucking speak. His only porpoise. Is a <laughs> <Air> pug. <laughs> his only but, dolphin. No, no wonder they said no. Anyway, that the, the, the his only point of being in the company <laughs> is to be defeated. By John Cena, like a scene out of fucking Rocky fucking Free, where like, ah, uh, if we can love each other, uh, I'm John Cena, and if I can love, and you can love, I'm Sylvester Stallone. What? Great. Sorry, anyway. What? <laughs> I couldn't remember the speech from Rocky Free. It's like, no, yeah, Andy, I- there's, there's, there's not remembering, and then there's whatever the fuck you just did. <laughs> Also, Andy, I know impressions aren't really your thing, but Rocky Ooh, didn't sound friend. like Jim Ross. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think these Russians Russian can't take needs to stop punching so hard. I, I think these I Russians can't I take a damn punch. These damn Rocky fans don't know how to sell a damn punch. <laughs> Literally, a Sylvester Stallone impression is the easiest thing to do because you don't have to enunciate a single word you say. That's great, Cully. <laughs> that actually sounded like Scott Hall on drugs a little bit. <laughs> hey, uh, it's the same thing. Hey, uh, Chico, man. Yeah. I fucking Rusev. See, I can't tell if you're doing Sylvester Stallone or a drunk Scott Hall. It's the same thing. So, yeah, I just need... I, like, here's the thing about Cena versus Rusev. I don't want Cena to win. And a lot of signs point to him not winning. But if he doesn't beat Rusev and end this undefeated streak that he's been on, who does? Someone who actually can Cena, do it. WrestleMania like, 31. Not... No, like, WrestleMania play button. Right. Oh, whatever the fuck it is. The thing is, to me, it doesn't seem like he will win simply because John Cena is just a bit too much of a big name to get such a small title that, in all honesty, means a fuck all nowadays. He can't. He cannot. It's not a championship. It's an accessory that they pass around but like schoolgirls. The They've given the belt to him so many times that he will he will match Ric Flair's record. And it's like, well, now it's like, well, we can't give him that because Ric Flair's one still alive, and two, it's John fucking Cena and not Ric Flair. So it's like, I like how there was an implication there that I, li- I like how there was an implication there that if Ric Flair was dead, they'd be fine breaking his record. <laughs> oh God, you know they would be. It's like, oh, Flair can't do anything about it, can he? Fuck him. What Is his corpse still warm? Now? That's fine. Go for it. Like the only thing that would justify John Cena holding that championship would be, and we're going to skip to another match at Fastlane, is if Ambrose won the Intercontinental title and then they unified them, but only if Ambrose wins. But the thing is, Ambrose is still a babyface, and so is John Cena. But they fought before. John Cena never loses ever at WrestleMania, ever. But that would be an amazing moment if they did that. That is the only reason... What? Oh no! Wait, like he he, he beat Wyatt. he beat Bray Wyatt, didn't he? Wow, Bray memory Wyatt lapse. Lost to John Cena at WrestleMania last year. No, wait, John Cena he's lost to The Rock. He lost yeah. to The Miz. Fucking hell, that happened. <laughs> oh god, I forgot about The Rock and The Miz. I fucking ingrained them out of my memory with alcohol. Oh my god. <laughs> well, the match that he lost to The Rock was the only good one. He lost to The Miz, guys, yeah. at WrestleMania. Ah, Sam. Do you remember what? the original finish to that match at WrestleMania 27 was a double countout? Oh, oh yeah. my god! No wonder I, no yeah. one, no wonder no one oh. talks about that WrestleMania. And then they anymore. restarted the match. The Rock hit Cena. Miz wins. <laughs> Worst ending ever. And then the Miz drops the title till the next month anyway. Yeah. Oh, Sam. That wasn't. But yeah, I just, I just. Rusev has to walk out as champion because if Cena is the guy that beats him, he'll be he'll he'll die. He'll die. 
He's dead. No, you know that's what they want to do because Cena needs to be pushed. No, he, he doesn't. He needs, kept, he needs to be kept strong, Carmine. Oh. Don't you understand? He needs to be kept strong. Oh. It's John Cena. You know, the guy that's been around for 11 years and the guy that's a 15-time world champion and the guy that won't go away. <laughs> Let's move on. Gotta to keep them strong. Let's, <laughs> let's move on to a topic I think Andy cares equally about: the uh-huh. Divas Championship. Nikki Bella versus Paige. God Almighty! I just want Paige to win. That's it. Can Sasha Banks interfere, steal the title, at the end? Okay, you're obsessed with Sasha Banks now. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah. No. Um. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Yeah. But as are you planning Nikki- that she'll break the streak? Is that what you're planning? No. Why would you really think you're going to get with the NXT Women's Champion? I, you're putting words in my mouth. I never <laughs> said that. I'm just saying. <laughs> that's it. That's what I fucking implied. She's attractive. The end. What the fuck? I'm, what the fuck? Seriously? I want Paige to win the title at Fastlane. What do you guys think? Maybe she died in the room is going to win. You think? Yes. I, I think am? I'm just going to fucking wank. <laughs> Stop saying things when I'm drinking Dr. Pepper. Uh, so we, <laughs> we briefly touched on this match already, but Barrett versus Ambrose for the Intercontinental title. Liam versus Hand, who wins? <laughs> okay. Did you just say Dick versus Hand? <laughs> Dick versus Hand? I said Liam versus Hand, but that's even better. Who is going to win? <laughs> Dick wins. And here comes the finisher. No, okay, so oh, Baron Chris Ambrose. Oh, here comes the great white. Intercontinental Championship match. Who's winning, baby? Oh, wait, an interference from Kleenex. <laughs> My. <laughs> oh. One, two, three. And he washes his hands and then cries because he's alone. <laughs> Oh, no, that's what I do. Sorry. Um, so I think Ambrose is going to win. <laughs> I don't care about this card. Why? This is a good match. This is the only match that's been built. <laughs> Sorry, what was it? What was the match? Barrett versus Ambrose for the Intercontinental title. Hmm. Hmm. That's a tough one. I see Ambrose walking out with the belt. I don't think I, I, I've given too much of a shit about this, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't give a fuck. I don't honestly give a fuck. Have you been watching these segments about this feud? What? Well, okay. I have a confession. Uh-huh. I kind of just fast forward. Look, I, I, I can watch a three-hour raw in half hour. So you don't actually watch it? Well, no, I do, but just the good parts. That's why it's only half hour. So then why do you fast forward through Barrett versus Ambrose? Because oh. it's for the Intercontinental title. But they're I'm making it matter. Bad, but it's for the Intercontinental title. What is your gripe with this belt? Because it, it, what, the thing is, the Intercontinental title actually used to mean something, and now it's worthless. And for that, I'm pissed off. So how do you make it meaningful again? You can't. They fucked it. No, of course you can. You you put it in good. They may as well literally wait. Like this Barrett, might, might as well just go. I'm afraid I've got some bad news, and then just fucking release his diarrhea turd all over it. Or oh, if you're okay. doing the fapping match, I'm afraid I've got some bad pubes. Anyway, you continue. <laughs> oh god. So the way you make a belt matter is with good feuds and good people. Barrett and Ambrose are good people in a good feud. This championship is going to be elevated by this feud and this match, especially if Ambrose wins, because Dean Ambrose is one of the top babyfaces in the entire fucking company, and if he wins that championship, it will be elevated and meaningful. Why why do you get so pissed off when I say I don't care about the Intercontinental title anymore? Because your logic never makes any sense. It does make sense. They've shout on that belt for the past ten years. Why should I care about it now? You're working on making it better, and you're ignoring You said this about three Three years ago, Carmine. Huh? You said that exact same thing about three years ago with Cody Rhodes changing the title. No, that was just something that was amazing because I hated that other belt. Actually, I actually liked the the other belt. Yeah, I hate this new. I hate this belt. There's no reason for it. Sorry, I actually preferred the other one. What? 
Yeah. I yeah, we said it. One. That yeah, ugly I, oval I, thing. I, I hate that shitty belt. It, like when Cody Rhodes brought it back, fair enough. That was just a one-time thing, and now it's a permanent. It's a shit-looking belt. The plates mm. look like crap. Bring back the old one. It looks plastic. It looks terrible. It looks like a broken belt. It's the like the oval, hardcore title. The oval belt looked like it was always on the brink of falling apart. Well, I don't know what it. fucking belt you were looking at, but that's not what me and Andy think. We actually thought it looked like a fucking championship belt. It did not. And the current one looks like a fucking toy. Yeah, have you noticed that, actually? WWE have changed all their belts to look more like toys than actual belts. Well, I will agree that the tag team belts look fucking terrible. And I'm let's be now, honest, but... Diva's belt is a fucking butterfly. That is... oh, but I God. was trying to segue to the tag team championship match at Fastlane. Or that. Usos, Usos versus Tyson Kidd and Cesaro. <sighs> See, now you again have not been watching the segments about this feud. It's actually being built pretty well. It's not that. No, it's not that. It's that I don't think Cesaro and Kid will last too long as a, as a tag team. And the problem yeah, with that... I think they'll last as a tag team. I just don't think they're going to win I the would have, I would have preferred it if, you know, they actually brought in actual tag teams. This is the thing. I agree with Andy. Two people what they together. seem to do... What WWE does is they go, oh, well, we've got oh, nothing for these two okay. guys. Uh, just fucking put them together and make them go for the tag title. That's what the tag team championship is devolved into now. For fuck's sake, Cody Rhodes and Drew McIntyre were tag team champs once. Yeah, that, yeah. What's wrong with the pancake? Jesus Christ. Well, there we go. Sorry, it's not Supla Wrestling News and Reviews. It's the Supla oh, fucking God, Pancake Show. <laughs> I forgot to mute my mic. I forget. What the fuck's wrong with me? Fucking genius. So this is where we announced the Supla will be doing a cooking show with Andy as the host. (laughs) You've got the reviews, you've got the reviews, you've got the let's plays, and now a live cooking show (laughs) with Andy as the host and chef. I call it the Spaffle Cakes Pancakes. (laughs) Spaffle pancake. Basically, you get a pancake and then you just cover it in loads of fucking whipped cream. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to say something very different, Liam. <laughs> no, it's still got to be edible, mate. Jesus. Okay. Walked off laughing about the pancake, so I don't know what he's done to it. What has he done to it? Shat on it. <laughs> he didn't shit on my pancake. It's Nutella. Anyway, <laughs> Gold Dust is going to be fighting Stardust. Ah, uh, now not this one I do know. Pancakes. This match should have waited until WrestleMania. That's all I have to say about it. Pancake lean. This is the thing. Why is Stardust a fucking thing? I fucking hate this shit, man. I hate this blank. <laughs> you just devolved like really quickly there. I fucking hate. I hate the Stardust thing. It's just shit. It's total toss. I Here's my it. thing about Stardust. Like, it can work if there is no gold dust. I don't like having both of them. That's what is wrong with it. It's, <clears throat> it's. Are you still talking about the pancake? To be fair, I can't cook, so I can't. Fight. Right. The point is, <laughs> Stardust is shit. He's just crap. He's like, I want to be like my brother. He should have just done his own fucking thing, and by now he should have snapped out of it and been like, fuck this shit. Why do you dress up like a fucking weirdo, you fucking weird twa? You want to smack him the end of the chair. That's what was going to happen. Not, I want to join him. I'm, I'm honestly not shocked. They got Dusty Rhodes in face paint and went, well, baby, um, Dusty. <laughs> <laughs> He's <laughs> like in face paint doing normal dusty roads things. Do you think? Do you think if Dusty oh, had like baby, a dusty my, dust my, character? Head, do you think if Dusty had a dusty dust character? Do you think he would just have <laughs> bikes <laughs> like t- like painted on his face? By <laughs> he got a bicycle. <laughs> He's got a bicycle, dusty dust. <laughs> dusty dust. <laughs> <laughs> Literally the worst. That's like a creative character in 2K15. <laughs> now, coming to the ring from parts unknown. Dusty! Dust! Dust. Because you can't say it normally because Justin Roberts is a mong in that game. You can not in the company anymore. <laughs> Literally, he'll just go, Dusty! Dust! <laughs> dust! E! Dust! <laughs> 
<laughs> There's always weird timing issues. Anyway, I think Stardust is going to win at Fastlane. <laughs> yeah, Stardust is going to win. No, I... no, Dusty Dust is going to win. <laughs> no, 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 Dust E. Dust. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. And then, of course, the biggest match at Fastlane yes. oh, uh, is Roman Reigns versus Daniel Bryan in basically Daniel a number Bryan one wins. contenders match. If Daniel Bryan doesn't win, I'm going to give up with life. No, I actually, okay, I actually get ready to give issue. up with life because Reigns is winning. I actually have an issue with this whole match. Why? Because I think it was a bit poorly put together. Mm. Explain. That's just my opinion, right? Because I just think, I can understand the whole, oh, Daniel Bryan, he's, you know, he never had his title rematch and stuff. But it just seems like they've crowbarred him in because that's what the fans want. Yeah, but he's not going to win. Like, it's not going to be a triple threat at WrestleMania. It's just going to be Reigns versus Lesnar. This is just, it's like, they've done this match before a hundred thousand times where the pay-per-view before WrestleMania, the Royal Rumble winner has to fight someone else to keep his shot at WrestleMania. It's I happened. need to go vomit. <laughs> did it's I just hap- realize what he just did to my pancake? The, the golden syrup he put on it, he said it was at least a year out of date. Stop talking about pancakes on this wrestling show. <laughs> <laughs> if, I, if I throw up, I'm sorry. I think, honestly, I just think, like, you know, Carmine's going to hate me when I say this. It makes more logical sense for Roman Reigns to defend the, his spot against Curtis Axel. No. <laughs> it does, because Curtis Axel no. was never eliminated in the actual match. Yeah, but he, oh, to, yeah, be fair, to 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 be fair, he never also entered. Like, he never got in the ring. No, but he was meant to. So it was a 29-man bat- uh, battle roar, basically, not oh a 30-man. No, conspiracy. it was 30 men because Eric Rowan jumped in the ring. No, that was illegal. It, it, listen, that was an illegal entry. He was not meant to be in there. We'll let's let's put it this way. Let's put it this way. Let's put it this way. <clears throat> if someone is scheduled to be in the Royal Rumble and their number is 12 and then Sunday comes along and they don't make it to the arena. No, bullshit. That's treating they, like the hardcore title like, oh, he's got the number 30 spot. I'm just going to fucking take him out and take it. Oh, I got took out. He's got my spot now. Oh, lol. Oh, woe is literally. me. Literally. What they should have done was like, Curtis Axel has been, he was eliminated unfairly, so at Fastlane, we'll have to have another Royal Rumble, and then this one, Daniel Bryan can win at the end. I, no, what they really should have done, like I legitimately think this, is they should have put Roman Reigns in the ring with Curtis Axel, and then first one to go over the top rope loses. Curtis Axel wins. And then just bury <laughs> Curtis Axel desperately. Da, 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 da. That's not his theme. Um, the point that's Jack is, Sa- Swagger's theme. The point is, <clears throat> Roman Reigns is winning at Fastlane. He sucks. See, no, I don't think so. Win. I think it's going to turn. I think it's going to be a double DQ, double count out. Something's going to happen, and then they'll, they'll force it into a triple threat match. Mm, you can't. You cannot have the main event of WrestleMania Without where everyone is cheering for the villain. But what if he's not? But the problem, the problem with it is, is that no one will be cheering Roman, and it'd be the exact same thing we had. Like you haven't actually progressed at all. You haven't made Roman seem anything like a babyface, or to convince people that you should cheer for him. So at the end of the day, if they're going to go with him as a heel, heel versus heel doesn't make any sense. Lesnar you will be cheered. You can't, but you. But no, that's so stupid. But that's so counterintuitive because the whole point is that Lesnar is meant to be a monster heel for the fact that he defeated the street. Yeah. You cripple. I'm not saying make him a face. I'm not saying make him. I'm not saying put him in like rainbow clothes like Cena and make him like a great guy. Yeah, I know but... that. But I'm saying if he's going to get cheered anyway, the, everything, and I mean everything, everything has been a waste of time. Like the streak he's ending, which will never end for me, but everything else. <sighs> It's been a total waste of time, and something bad is happening downstairs. But the point is, Brian has to win. No, he's not this going. Roman to. Reigns experiment was was clearly a waste of time. No, and clearly it was just pointless. I'm not saying one day Roman couldn't main event WrestleMania. One day, maybe they should use this as a story. It's like I lost, 
and I'm going to do everything in the next year to be in the next one. There we go. There's and to be honest, story. I've got to be yeah. honest, wouldn't it be fucking surprising if Roman lost the match? At WrestleMania? No, at Fastlane. It would be, be surprising, really surprising because what the hell? Like, I seriously think... Now that he has won the Royal Rumble, you have to go through with at least him winning at Fastlane. No. Like, there is something there. He's not Do nothing. a Fatal 4 way. Do a Fatal 4 way. No, have, not a... What have, the... Who, who the frig? <laughs> 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 who the I just hell? Thought, just thought of something, though. It just popped into my head, right? You can't have another triple threat because you had that last year. So why don't you just insert Seth Rollins into it and then voila. He's got the briefcase. Yeah, he clashes in at WrestleMania and will be the only guy to ever have done so, ever. You know what, actually, this is, a different, this is different than what you're saying. But something I do think, maybe not Seth, but some Mr. Money in the Bank should do at some point, is uh-huh. instead of cashing it in after a match happened and cashing in on the winner... They cash in as a match is about to start, and they really just insert themselves into the match. That would be good for WrestleMania, to be honest. Because you'd be like, well, no one else has ever done this before, so... And I'm the architect. Let's fucking do this. But I think Reigns versus Lesnar one-on-one can work if they really, really put their effort into it. Okay, come on. Let me pause you there. We are out of time, I'm afraid. But if you would like, this is an open opportunity. If you would like to explain why you think it can work, feel free to do an article on the website, supla.com. That's my plug. Sure, I'll do that. That's my plug. And with that, that is our first line predictions, and that is uh, the news. So, so that's that the, is that's the, the end of the show. Week. So, uh, yeah, thank you for going on this magical journey with us about pancakes, fapping, and Roman Reigns. In that order. (laughs) (laughs) And we will see you next time on the broadcast or Bite Size or something. Who fucking cares? What fucking show is this again? (laughs) Where the fuck am I? Jesus Um, Christ. Goodbye. Supla.com. Supla.com. Supla.com.